Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and today we're back on the Legion Beta and I'm going to be showing you all the legendaries for the Warrior. We'll be going through them and just checking out the equips and seeing what crazy shit these guys are going to be able to get and yeah, how it's going to change things up. So I'm going to cut to the first one and we shall see what they get. Thank you for walking through me, lovely lady. See you soon. Alrighty guys, kicking it off with Fury and we have CNR Charger, which is a headpiece. Yep, once again, I'm going to stop showing these because they're just using re rehashing models from old expansions. Surely this has to be like a bug thing. But anyway, gain 10 rage whenever you're in rage. <laughs> Standard. Yeah, so you'll gain 10 rage whenever you're in rage. There you go. Predaz Zavrik's Magnum Opus. We have been over this with many other videos. But for the first one, after taking not taking damage for 5 seconds, you gain Absorb Shield for 15% of your maximum health for 30 seconds. And you can do it once every 30 seconds. Pretty good. We have Kazalax, Fujidar's Fury. God damn, some of these fucking names, man. Anyway, Blood First increases all damage you deal and all healing you take by 1% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. There you go, quite nice. We have Manorov's Bloodletting Ma Manacles. You heal 1% of your maximum health for every 10 rage you spend. Fuck. That's going to be a good one. If you're Fury, go get this motherfucker. That's going to be really, really nice for some more self-sustain. We have Agramar's Stride. Increases your movement speed by 75% of your haste. Holy shit. That's just a flat buff. You know, fucking a Warriors, Paladins, and Death Knights running all over the fucking place. <laughs> it's going to be great. All right. We have Naj Entus Vertebrae. Um, if Whirlwind hits three or more enemies, it hits them two additional times. AoE? Fuck you. Yeah. That's going to be really, really good for the AoE. Um, yeah, so you're basically just going to be able to Blade Storm and just cut down entire groups of people. Sorry, Whirlwinds. And cut down entire groups of people with your brand new sick animations. Alright, we have Zephu's Secret. Successfully applying a loss of control effect to an enemy grants you 70% increased movement speed and 15% haste for 10 seconds. The effect may occur once every 30 seconds. I'm going to go over these ones that um, basically seem to be on every single character once um, at the start of the video and then I'll just won't mention them again because yeah, they're just repeats on every class by the looks of it. But we have ALR's Stone Heart. Your attacks have a chance to make your next execute cost no, cost no rage and be usable on any target regardless of health level. What the fuck is the percentage on that? Your attacks. So just your is that it doesn't say specify basic attacks, it just says attacks. So that means anything you do has a chance to make your next execute cost no rage and be used on anyone. That Manoros Bloodletting Manacles. Get those and you'll just fucking wreck face 24-7. That's going to be crazy. Alright, moving on to the Arms Warrior. Predaz, Zavrik's Magnum Opus makes another return. So does Manorov's Bloodletting Manacles. Ah, here we go. Arkevron's Heavy Hands. Mortal Strike refunds 15 Rage. <laughs> oh god, that's going to be a must. That's going to be great though. Um, now... Gentus's vertebrae. Man, some of these are... Holy shit. They only get two different ones. You still get Agamar's Stride. Um, the only other one you get is Weight of the Earth. Heroic Leap's radius is increased by 100% and all enemies damaged by Heroic Leap are also affected by your Colossus Smash. What? Oh, we're only going to give them two different ones, but we're going to make them fucking insane. Colossus Smash, for those of you who don't know, gives you a window that basically um, increases all the damage you deal to them within that window. So you can jump on cunts and just fucking have your Colossus Smash window up and ready to go without even casting Colossus Smash. There you go. So that's the craziness of the uh, um, Arms Warrior. Let's move on to Protection. Pridaz, Zavrik's Magnum Opus. I just like saying that. They're back once again. Destiny's Driver. Intercept. Intercepted attacks grant you and your intercept target and absorb shield equal to 25% of the damage done by the attack for 10 seconds. Quite nice. That's a nice uh, little save. Um, and hopefully we'll, people will start actually using intercept. <laughs> Not many people use it that much, but this might be an incentive to actually use the fucking thing. We have Kakushan's Storm Scale Gauntlets. Devastate increases the damage done and rage generated by your next Ravage or Shield Slam by 20%. Fuck, that's a good one. 
That is that is quite a nice one to be using. Manoroth's Bloodletting Manacles make its return, so does Agamar's Stride. Excuse me. Uh, we have Thunderlord's Vigor. Each enemy you hit with Thunderclap reduces the remaining cooldown on Demoralizing Shout by one second. Thunderclap, welcome back to the rotation, my main man. Alright, so you're going to be using that a fair bit. Ziff is secret, I fucking hate you, hard to say. And the walls fell. Shield Slam reduces the remaining cooldown of Shield Wall by four seconds. Gee, I wonder which one everyone's going to have to go out and fucking get if they want to be viable. Oh, that one. Get that one. Get fucking... The Thunderclap, eh, Thunderclap one's man. Get the fucking, where is it? The Intercept one, and yeah, you'll be sitting pretty. So yeah, Warriors seem to have some pretty fucking crazy ones in there that are going to make them a must-have, I reckon. Like, there's some that are like, eh, and then there's some that are like, holy shit balls, get this thing to me right now, I want to wear it. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button, and I shall see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.